Hello again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 14th of March, 2019. Article on the Hartford Journal. Written by David Altamara, that's A L T I M A R I. Title State Supreme Court Overturns Lower Court Ruling, says Sandy Hook Families Can Sue Gun Manufacturer Remington. How insane is all of this, huh? You know, the good news is that this is going to expose Sandy Hook for being the false flag event that it really was. What's going to end up happening is it's going to have to go to the Supreme Court, depending on what they rule. But how insane is this? Remember that incident in Europe where somebody took a truck and ran over a whole bunch of people and killed a whole lot of people? Why wasn't that truck manufacturer sued? Huh? The Connecticut Supreme Court Thursday narrowly reversed the ruling by a lower court judge dismissing a lawsuit by the families of victims of the Sandy Hook shooting against Remington Arms Company allowing the case to proceed. In a 4-3 decision, the court remanded the landmark gun case back to Bridgeport Superior Court and possibly create a path that other mass shooting victims can follow to get around the federal protection of Lawful Commerce in Arms Act, known as PLCAA, which has protected the manufacturers of the AR assault rifle from lawsuits. The ruling paves the way for families to subpoena internal documents on how the gun companies have marketed AR-15s, which have become the weapon of choice for mass shooters. Actually, the most number of people ever killed in a mass shooting was with a, I believe, a 9mm. The gun manufacturers have closely guarded information how they market the assault weapons. They don't have to market the assault weapons. People want to buy them. There is a reason why this particular consumer product is the one that is used by people who want to inflict the most damage. And we have seen it time and time again since my son and his classmates were killed, said David Wheeler whose son, Ben, was killed in Sandy Hook attack. Wasn't Ben also killed in Afghanistan? Huh? The reason very little potentially resides in the documents they may have been unable to look at until now. Family members spoke during an afternoon press conference at the lawyer's office in Bridgeport. This is another step in trying to figure out what went on inside Remington. Let's see the internal documents and emails of what they told their salesmen, said William Sherlock, whose wife Mary was a school psychologist at Sandy Hook Elementary School before she died in the attack. They thought they were sheltered from everything, but not here in Connecticut. No, Connecticut's a whacked up left-wing liberal state. Josh Koskoff, a lawyer for the family, said the court rejected the gun industry's bid for complete immunity, not only from the consequences of their reckless conduct, but also from the truth-seeking discovery process. All along, he said, Remington's goal has been to expand the AR-15 market by courting high-risk users. <laughs> These people are brain dead. What this decision says is no one is above the law, and even gun companies that is powerful or gun industry that is politically connected, and even in the face of statutory protection, the gun industry isn't above the law, Kaskoff said Thursday afternoon. This is a day of reckoning in boardrooms of gun companies across the country. In a 4-3 decision, Justice Richard N. Palmer, Andrew J. McDonald, Raheem L. Murens, and Maria Aruji Khan sided with the majority. Khan, Muslim. Just as Richard A. Robinson, Christine S. Vertafula, and Nina F. Elgo dissented, Elgo is an appellate court judge who participated in the case. The court rules that the Sanyo family should have the opportunity to prove that Remington violated the Connecticut Unfair Trade practices act by marketing what it knew as a weapon designed for military use to civilians such as Nancy and Adam Lanza. It's not a, a military weapon, folks. This is just bullshit. Adam Lanza's AR-15 to kill 26 people, including 21st graders at Sandy Hook Elementary School in 212. 
We further conclude that PLCAA does not bar the plaintiffs from proceeding on a single limited theory that the defendants violated CUTPA by marketing the XM15 E2S to civilians for criminal purposes and that those wrongful marketing tactics caused or contributed to the Sandy Hook massacre. Justice Palmer wrote in a majority decision, Accordingly, on the basis of the limited theory, we conclude that the plaintiffs have pleaded allegations sufficient to strive a motion to strike and are entitled to the opportunity to prove their wrongful marketing allegations. A Superior Court judge in Bridgeport dismissed the lawsuit in 2016, agreeing with attorneys at Remington that the lawsuit falls squarely within the broad immunity provided to gun manufacturers and dealers by Arms Act. The lawsuit, originally filed in 2015 by nine family victims, as well as a teacher who was injured in a shooting, also named Camphor Holdings LLP, the gun distributor, and Riverview Gun Sales Inc., the East Windsor gun shop where Nancy purchased the Air 15, right around her son's 18th birthday. The justices rule, while Judge Barbara Burles was correct in dismissing the lawsuit based on PLCCA, she was incorrect not to let the case proceed on the CUTPA allegations. Uh, you got to read the whole article. This is totally nuts. And this dirtbag, Richard Blumenthal, called the decision a wow moment in American legal history. It breaks up the seemingly impenetrable shield, unjust and unfair, enjoyed uniquely by the arms manufacturer, holds them responsible, as every other industry is for injuries and deaths that they cause, like General Motors, Ford, BMW, huh? <laughs> what are you, shitting me? Blumenthal's a complete idiot. Blumenthal predicted the San Diego case would have a similar outcome to the 46 state lawsuits. He helped lead his Connecticut Attorney General against the tobacco industry, damaging revelations about cigarette companies learning during the discovery phase of the case helped drive a $246 billion settlement. Again, read the rest of the article. When this hits the Supreme Court, we'll have to see how this thing sort of unfolds. And what I think will happen is America will learn it never happened that way. Thanks for listening. The link will be attached.